It's quite hard to oversell Lomachenko's talent. Not Vasil, but his father, Anatoly. Head coach of the Ukrainian national team, Anatoly implemented a unique school of boxing that has exhibited profound success in both the Olympic and professional arenas. His three greatest prodigies include rising star Alexander Vozdik, 2018 Fighter of the Year Alexander Usyk, and the widely regarded pound for pound king Vasil Lomachenko. While all three undoubtedly have different styles, fundamental cornerstones of the Anatoly boxing philosophy can easily be identified. Creative punching combinations, unparalleled footwork, and commanding ring intelligence are among commentator favorites. But I would like to draw attention towards what I like to call the Anatoly pivot. Essentially, the Anatoly pivot is used when your opponent settles, either to attack or defend. This presents an opportunity to shift laterally and gain positional superiority. Its effective distance is dependent entirely on the user's application. Vozdik, Usyk, and Lomachenko all employ this technique, but under different contexts, purposes, and ranges. Lomachenko is easily the face of this move, as every highlight video contains at least one clip of him stepping around the opponent's lead foot. Lomachenko does this from close range, under the context of an opponent who is shielded up and immobilized by Vasil's barrage of punches. With the opponent preoccupied with defense, Lomachenko will often throw or feint a right hook while simultaneously pivoting around his opponent. The hook provides momentum to efficiently execute the pivot up close while also ensuring that the opponent remains in a static defensive posture. From there, Lomachenko will often headhunt before punctuating the combination with a body punch. Unfortunately, with his most recent shoulder injury all but disabling the right hook, the seal's trademark has yet to effectively terrorize the lightweight division. Usyk and Vozdik are also masters of the pivot, but their usage is less noticeable. The contextual prerequisite for Usyk is an opponent retreating in a linear fashion. Usyk prefers to use the pivot mid-assault, especially from medium range. The Anatoly pivot permits Usyk to suddenly change direction and intercept the linear retreat. This throws the opponent off balance and provides new routes of attack. In contrast to his Olympic comrades' offensive priorities, Vozdik uses the Anatoly pivot as a defensive measure. When the opponent settles, either to launch a combination or prepare a counter, Vozdik will hop to the side in a short pivot while maintaining distance. His opponent must then reset, and the Ukrainian frequently finds opportunity in this half-beat to shoot straight punches without concern for return fire. Considering how Vozdik is an orthodox fighter, and how all three use the technique at different ranges, the Anatoly pivot clearly does not rely on stance, height, reach, or any other superficial element. In fact, though this may be a crude simplification, the Anatoly boxing philosophy emphasizes two fighting traits from which all weapons are derived, footwork and intelligence. The Anatoly pivot is a perfect example. The user must possess a pair of reliable and well-trained feet as a prerequisite. Second, and more importantly, a high level of critical thinking and awareness is necessary to ascertain an opponent paralyzed by intent to defend, attack, or counter. A fighter with frozen motility often has fewer qualms facing a hail of punches than opening up and moving. The deadliness of the Anatoly pivot is thus not in its offensive and defensive applications, but in the way it makes opponents recognize their poor positioning. The genius of Anatoly Lomachenko, as flashy as some moves may seem, lies entirely in the subtleties perhaps best represented by the Anatoly pivot. Nechaj